What was that? been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Oh, thank you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. And away he goes. Suppose I should be... I should know better than to meddle in affairs... the affairs of couriers. Yeah? So that I should probably put that away. I was going to... Uh, I was going to do so many things when I was back there, and I did not. What is this? Arden. My heart is with you, lad. Oh! I think I know who this is from. My heart is with you, lad. I've just gotten Feralda's letter about Arcano. I'm going to sit down to read this one. I just have a feeling about it. My heart is with you, lad. I've just gotten Thralda's letter about Ancano. I know the two of you were close no matter how much you two tried to hide it. You've always been a bit softer around the heart, not that that's a bad thing. I think we could all do with some more of that these days. So I hope this letter finds you in good health, if not good spirits. Sigwin sends her sympathies as well. We're all that's left of the old team and I'm amazed we're still kicking, mostly. Here's hoping you're still as spry as you used to be because I'm sure not. Siggy and I are still up in Glenumbra if you ever want to come visit. If not, perhaps you can keep an eye out for my granddaughter. Her name's Morgud, she's a Dunmer. Yes, adopted, bet you didn't see that one coming. Last I heard she was kicking around Solstein. Interesting. There's something going on over there, lad. Lad. What is it with this man and lad? Anyway. I wouldn't recommend going there yourself, but if you ever see a wee Dunmer lass on that side of Skyrim, check in on her. I will. For all those that I mentioned your promotion. I didn't want to write anything about it because I know it came with a steep cost, but congratulations anyway, Archmage. Sigwin and I will open up a brandy for you and light a candle for Ancana once I'm done writing this. It's not much, but I'm, it's what I'm capable of these days. That and books. Always books. Keep kicking, lad. Mop dear. Well... I'm glad to hear he's still doing alright. I'm honestly glad to hear he's still alive. <laughs> Need something? No. Sorry. I'll get out of your way. He was in his fifties, I think. When I was back in the college, right? I don't remember. I was tired. I should probably write him a letter back. I'll wait for... A. The storm to break and B. Game in. Hi. Fade is the name. I keep the inn. Thank you, Fader. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. 
Have you heard any rumors lately? Been talk of a little boy in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino. Get this, he's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. Lad, again. Sorry, uh, it's all good. I was thinking more along the line, eh, whatever. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Thanks. I'm sure with as pale as I am, my eyes look rather dark, don't they? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, I will just borrow the desk for a bit. Hope you don't mind. Lopter. My sincerest apologies that I didn't write to you before for all that did. She was a constant in the few days or so after Ancono's death, so I'm not surprised. I may have mentioned you two. You have my thanks for your kind words and your sympathies. I know you and he never really got on, but I thank you and Sigwin for dealing with the two of us. We made a damn good team, if I do say so myself, and I miss working with you, truly. I am healing, if slowly. You know as well as I do, probably better, that this kind of thing never really goes away. I'm not sure what Feralda told you in regard to the circumstances around what happened, but Ankara would have made you proud, I think. He died on his feet, fighting. I wish I'd been able to help him, somehow. I admit my heart is heavy with the grief that I should have been able to save him but couldn't. I wish I could have talked to him about... well, everything, really. But he's gone now, and I doubt I'll ever be able to bring him back. Nor would he wish me to try, I think. It seems after all these years I still felt something for him. I am, as always, a fool. Lest you worry, I'm not alone here. Skyrim is a harsh place, but one full of warm and lovely people. The staff at the College of Winterhold is charming, and the librarian keeps us all in check. I've met with a few unsavory, violent types, but they are ubiquitous, as you know. I've fallen in with a man who attracts trouble in ways that put my bad luck to shame, and a woman who is something of a specialist in second-era Daedric lore, and before either one of you gets the wrong idea, I do not mean fallen in with in the way you probably assume. It would almost remind me of old times, except that we aren't delving into old alien ruins. I will keep an eye out for your granddaughter. In the meantime, I have a small favour to ask of you. Perhaps two, if you're up to it. The first is a matter of architecture. Winterhold and her college are in a bad way, and while I tried to get in touch with the contractor to have some repairs made, he's... indisposed. I wonder if you might be able to get in touch with someone who could help. I have some plans for the college, but they may need to wait until more pressing matters are taken care of. Speaking of which, I doubt it highly, but I do wonder if there's anything in the archives of Glenumbra, wherever those may be, I'm not familiar with High Rock, obviously, Regarding someone named Lord Harkin, or King Harkin, perhaps, Second Era or Sooner, it may be related to a project I'm working on. If you find nothing, that's all right. I would expect as much. My heart to you and Sigwin. It's been a long time and you have no idea how happy I am to hear from you again. Thank you again for your sympathies and my apologies for writing a novel in response. Not much has changed in that regard. With deepest appreciation, Ardinius Perseus Welk, Archmage. And it's still raining. Oh, what? Yes, I thought I heard you come in. Yes, you did. And I've been chatting with Serana, waiting for you to wake up. All right, well. Stop standing around and let's get going, shall we? Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. My thoughts exactly. Although, I think our chase might well be up. Really, All did right. you find something? Yes. Just past the bridge. Ugh. I would ask you to lead us, but... Just past the bridge is, you know, not that hard of directions to follow. Well, let's get indoors or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. Oh, it's not that bad, Serana. 
sorry. Names. Hey, Arden. Yeah? I have something to ask you. Well, ask away. Don't let me stop you. Do you speak Dovazul? Uh, a bit? Why? Did you, uh, happen to read some? No, but I did hear some. Alduin Drunevgir Unslag. Do you have any idea what that means? Um, yes, and I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Here to explain for a simple Bosma who doesn't understand? Yeah, that means Alduin brings war. Or Alduin brings season unending. Something like that. Oh. Who did you hear that from? Honestly, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Okay, suit yourself. You're a man of many mysteries, as you are fond of saying. Just past the bridge, you said. Next bridge. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say you'd smell it before you saw it, but... I think I was wrong. Oh dear. Um, what exactly happened here? The effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that Elder Scrolls contain a certain hazard in their very reading, etc, etc. You're not gonna stop and read a book again, are you? No. I just want to know what's in it. I'm flipping through it. There's a difference. I'm taking it. Oh, man. This is one of ours. One of ours, huh? How easily do you adjust? <laughs> I would not say it's an easy thing right at the moment, but yeah. Hold on, I am going to read this though because I found a note. I have new orders from you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take them off, priest to the forebears. Hide out for safekeeping until I can break his will, Malchus. Oh dear. Forebear's hideout, huh? Mm-hmm. Any ideas? Well, my best guess right at the moment would be follow the blood. That I can do. Um, right. I should be able... Yes. Excellent. What, learning how to see in the dark? Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that I should be able to do that I'm not entirely sure how to do right at the moment, considering... And I don't really know when to s where to start asking questions. Yeah, I saw them too. Yep. Oh, more. Not good. Well, look at it this way. If they're looking for me, they're looking for a Bosmer acting alone, and probably not with a group of two other people. So we should be alright on that score. Okay, good. What on earth is this thing? I don't know. You're the archaeologist, you tell me. Well, it's some kind of runestone. I'm no fan of the sun. 
But it would be better than this. Oh, it's just fog, Serana. We'll get used to it. This does not match a style that I'm familiar with, though. Odd. And I seem to have lost track of... Oh, maybe not. Ah! There we go. Okay. You know, I... have come to appreciate your stealth, Arden. Oh? Yeah. I had a run-in with the companions, and let's just say... Stealth is not exactly their strong suit. You... what? I'll tell you later. Moth Priest is priority number one right now. Oh. And I see where they're keeping him, too. I'm going to assume that he is the one just kind of... in that. Hold on. I've seen that kind of magic before. Oh? Yeah, that's a barrier. And we won't be able to get back- we won't be able to get into that barrier unless- It should have some kind of- What are Dongar dogs doing here? What is the point, Arden? Uh, the point is, I think the Dawn Guard beat us here. And I don't think they're going to be friendly about letting us talk to, uh... You know... The Moth Priest? I meant about the barrier. It seems on Kano knows... Knew some kind of magic that... Whatever's going on there is related to. I don't think that sentence made any sense, but I did my best. Let's just be on with it, yeah? Sorry. You don't need to apologize to the dogs, Arden. Yes, I do. Am I moving slower than usual, or is it just me? No, I think you are. You still haven't eaten, have you? We're not talking about this. You know, you probably should. We're not talking about this. Well, he's not gonna get. Ah. Uh, what did I just hear? You alright, Serana? Okay, okay. Come on. Come on, get away from her. That's a troll! Hey! Okay. I was about to say, Cayman, there's a troll in here, but you got it. Yes, I did. Careful the crossbows. Yeah, no, really. Yeah. Careful, Serana. And we got him. Yeesh. You know? That's not a bad idea. What, a crossbow? 
Yeah. You may have noticed, but I'm kind of limited when it comes to... ...ranged weaponry that's actually accurate. Although, I do a decent shot... Did not need to pick that up. I do a decent job with my spells when I can actually aim, but my aim is atrocious. Is this an armored troll? Ugh. Yeah, I should have warned you about those. The Dawn Guard are notorious for that. Right. Those vampires put up a hell of a fight. Oh. Well, what was that? What have you got? Oh, holy Mara. Okay. Come on. I'm a friend who'd like to <laughs> meet you. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah, well, trying to shoot past you is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. There's a lot of that going around these days, though. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. That's a nasty shield, isn't it? Ooh. Hello? I was going to say I... What the... Excuse me, sir, how'd you get in there? Um... Sir? I think he's reanimated. Oh. Serana, is he one of yours? The tale of the great moth priest hunt. Not something I'd want to read. That's not what I... Don't worry about Let's it. Let's go. And it looks like this must be Malchus. Ooh. Really? With the coffins? Why coffins? Well, it does tend to keep the sun out. Just saying. Ooh. That could be deadly. Yeah. I know it keeps the sun out, but it's a little bit kitschy, don't you think? Kitschy? Really? That's the word you're gonna use? You have a lot to say on the matter, don't you? No. You may have noticed, but I'm not exactly much of a linguist myself. Oh, he is. Which means that barrier shouldn't be affecting dead things, or at least reanimated things. This should be good. Ooh. So that... And his enemies will pay. I would like to pull this thing back out, please. Well... I knew I oh! Hey, you! We're on your side! Oh! I don't think he's on our side, Arden. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Okay. Ooh! I don't want to kill him. Let me handle it. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Look, look, look. Um. If you think I'll help you, you're mistaken. Um. Arden, I hate to ask you to do this, but you're gonna have to, um, enthrall him. You want me to what now? 
啊。Some kind of well crap. I don't really. Well, let's give it a shot, right? Well, that sort of worked. If you think I'll help you? You're mistaken. If you think I'll help you, you're mistaken. Arden, yeah, you need to bite him. Oh gods, I hate this so much. Why can't you do it? Because I am not that kind of vampire. Okay, why don't you do it? Oh, what is it? Are you? I'm ready if you are. Okay, well. Um. I hate to do this, Dexy, and I really do. Who's there? Um, did it work? I am not afraid of you. <sighs> I don't think it worked. Well, he's a strong one, if nothing else. Good on him. If you think I'll help you, you're mistaken. I, I would like you to help me, yes. Great. Should I just wait for the spell that he's got going to wear off? Because I think that might have something to do with it. Uh, you may need to weaken him again. I would rather not. I am not afraid of you. I know you're not. I don't really. I don't really think I can do that. In wrath. Uh, Sorana? Right behind you. Can you. Oh, alright. What is it? What now? I don't know. Finished? Yes. As far as I am. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? Well, normally one would bite the victim and then enthrall them, and I don't know how it works because, again, I'm not that kind of vampire. Great. Great, great, great. Um? You're kind of a blight upon Tamriel, monster. I'm aware. I really don't like doing this, but I'm going to anyway. Ah, I still you come remember from? how to fight. Could you, you know? I don't know. I legitimately have no idea what I'm doing right now. Harkin couldn't have sent a worse person to find this man. Look, Dexian, I'm trying to tell you here. I mean you no harm, despite what I've just... that I've just proven that to the contrary. Something. <sighs> Let's try this. Okay, well, that didn't work at all. No! Must be gone now. Okay. Whoa. Yes, I know. Shush. 
I don't really know what came over me. We're just gonna not speak of this ever again. By the divines, it's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I... I must obey you. Okay, that's creepy. What would you have of me, master? Okay, do First of all, don't call me master. Second of all... Uh... We're headed to Castle Volkahar if you want to meet us there. You seem perfectly capable of handling yourself. I think. At least you did. Certainly. Where can I find this castle? Off the northern coast of Skyrim, due west of Solitude. I will set out at once, then. Gods, that's creepy. That's really creepy. Are you... Uh... What did I do to him? Well, you enthralled him. Yes, but is his mind ever going to come back, or is he just kind of stuck like that? I don't know. I don't think he'll ever be back to his old self, but he should still have his memories and knowledge intact, if nothing else. What is your command? Uh... What... What do you know about the Elder Scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know yep, is that some I are born think he's with a special gift right. to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Yep, Ingrath, I think you're right. Thank you for your knowledge, Dexian. I think we should probably get going. I will await your return. Before... Daybreak. Huh? And I don't know what he's going to do. Do well, presumably he's going to do everything in his power to get to Castle Volgahar, considering that you've just commanded him to do so. Yep, that's creepy. That is terribly creepy. I would like to pull this out again. Oh well. You know, I'm beginning to sense a theme here, my lord. Could you not? It's never going to end, is it? Nope. Never will. <sighs> Great. I am stuck for eternity. Don't worry, I can hear you still. Oh right, I forgot you've got your elven ears to pick up absolutely everything. I'm stuck for eternity. With a man who refuses to call me my name. What do you mean? You just keep calling me- never mind, let's just go. Whatever you say, my lord. I'm going to- you know, I may not be stuck for you within an for an eternity. Stuck with you for an eternity. Oop. Better watch out, Arden. Yeah. Das! Dendar's sake, okay. Yes, I'm perfectly aware of the irony of a vampire invoking the name of Stendar, but here we are. Jeez! Sorry.
What I was going to say was, I may not be stuck with him for an eternity. I may kill him before then. We'll find out. What are you moping for? I'm not moping. My hands are cold. Your hands... are cold? Well, yeah, you weren't exactly the one rowing, now were you? You are insufferable. I'm beginning to realize this... Where did you come from here? Hello. Yeah, now you know how we feel. Sorry, uh... What came over me? Any more of them? No, looks like this one's a scout. I'm tempted to take that crossbow, but... <laughs> something tells me... My aim is... Eh. I might as well. My aim is just as atrocious with a crossbow as it is with a spell. I can help you work on that if you want. I'm sure you can. Now, here's hoping Dexian knows some kind of teleportation magic that neither of us do, because... You know... I would rather like to not have to wait for him for, you know, several hours. We did go through all this trouble trying to track him down, after all. I think you'll find he is very much here. Oh. You could hear him, couldn't you? Yes, I could. Eh. <sighs> Oh boy. Well, business as usual here, it looks like. Table man is included. Lord Harkin, we've returned. Well done. Somehow I knew it would be you who found our moth priest. Yeah, and I had to make him my thrall. I'm not sure if that's against any rule or anything. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult to task. <laughs> uh, well, the uh, Donga tried to stop us. They weren't really much of a threat. I wish I could have been there to hear the sounds of their screams. It's not well, your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. Understood. Hello, Gam. Oh, you've decided to join us. What? Wouldn't miss it for the world. They know me here. Hmm. Alright. Dexion? Master, I have done as you asked and traveled here. I just... Uh, you can stop calling me Master Dexion. I just need you to do something for me, alright? Of course. What is it that you need me to do? Oh god, that's creepy. You have the Elder Scroll. You have everything you need to read it, I hope. If you could do that. For the lovely people here. Ah, yes. The Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. Alright. Well... At your leisure? Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice Oriel? whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, leave him. there is more here. 
The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Oh, hey, do you want to sit down, or... I will take it by Serana's walking off that you will be fine. Can you... Can you see me? Everything alright? Okay. Go on, leave him. Alrighty. That was bizarre. You got all that? Something about a bow. Oriole's bow. Dragons, ancient blood, dreadlord rising, and the night and the day becoming as one. Also, a time of strife, which we happen to be currently living in. So, yes, I think I've got everything. Well, damn, you're quick. Eh, I do my best. So. That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. Well, I did my best. Any idea where the other scrolls are? My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long, and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. Well, at least one of those jobs is proper suited for me. So don't worry about it, Lord Harkon. All this talk of Elder Scrolls and Ariel's bow. Lord Harkon's ambition truly is great. Yup. Yup it is. Oh god. Anything you seem to be warming what? up to the Can dog quite well. You know I live to serve. No, I don't need anything right now. Please well, uh, you know. Yes. Of course. I think the dog is more warming up to me. Who knows? Okay. Come on, come on, lady and gent. Do you have a moment to talk? I do. Shall we all discuss it well not here? Eh, what's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Oh? You mean besides a somewhat probably crumbling Dwarven ruin? Why didn't you say something sooner? Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. Oh. Oh, you mean the advisors, not the rest of the- Well, all the elf is standing right there. Don't worry if he makes any move. He knows who I am. By reputation. Oh, well. Do you trust Harkin at all? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. We should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. I... well... I would say I don't believe that, but... unfortunately I think you're right. So where do you think the Elder Scroll is? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she was being cautious. Yeah, and I wouldn't blame her given the circumstance. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, 
I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Well, under normal circumstances, I would say something like hiding with the Dawn Guard. Or perhaps sealed away like you were, but considering where you were and the parties searching for you, I would assume right under your nose. Like the castle. Really? Really? Yes. If you're all going to just run around calling me my lord, I am going to jab you about not having found a vampire artifact that was sitting right under your nose. Uh... Wait, that almost makes sense. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Well, that sounds like the right place, then. Although it's pretty risky staying around the castle, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. And how can we get in without your father noticing? You may not have to. I'm a lot more suited to stealth than you are, and you're better suited to delving into Dwemer ruins than I am. So, how about we split up? Cover more ground. As absurd and cheesy as that sounds. Trust me, I lived here a very long time and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Wait, previous owners, did you say? Now I have so, so many more questions, but... Alright, I have some things to do first, namely finding the other one, and it sounds like... Inrath will meet you there. Don't let me stand in your way then. Okay. I'll be at the dock whenever you're ready. Sounds good. So, you're alright with this. Why are you asking me that? I don't really have a choice in the matter anymore, do I? I did volunteer. Well, yes, but you can always back out again and leave the... all of the scroll finding to me. Why would I do that? Look. I don't know what this prophecy is about, but prophecies are tricky. It may not be what everyone assumes it is. The Dread Lord may not be Hargan. The night and the day becoming as one may not be what he thinks it is. Fair point. And Orgel's bow? Eh, uh, who knows about that. <sighs> Garm, we're trying to have a conversation here. I think he likes you. You? You're not coming with me, you realize. I'm going to Winterhold, I'm not going to bring you with me, unless you can disguise yourself somehow. Well, you're a mage, I'm sure you could figure something out. I'm not taking a death hound with me to Winterhold, Ingrath. That's just absurd. But thank you for the laugh. Right, I should probably let you get on with business, eh? Yeah, probably. Save travels, my lord. I'm going... I'm going to have to get you to shut up about that someday. I don't know how. Someday. Garm, are you following me? <sighs> Safe travels yourself. Be careful. I will. I'm always careful. B.
big thank you to all the patrons, including The Wind, William, and our current Grand Architect, Kay. <laughs>